It's been a few couple of weeks now since Spencer has joined the island of Sodor, the railway. He was having lots of fun working with the back and Chora's engines. He loved it. All the engines now like Spencer. He has changed a lot and he's much more nicer. All the engines like like Spencer's you change, being much more nicer and not doing anything bad like racing or anything. However, but Gordon, on the other hand, was still cross with Spencer. He still didn't like having the idea of him living on Sodor. And, and living in Titmus Sheds with, with all the other engines with him. Ever since James left a couple of days after Spencer arrived, Gordon hated this. And he wanted this to stop. The next day in the station, Gordon was there picking up passengers for the express. Everything was going okay for him until Spencer arrived. Hello, Gordon, said Spencer. Gordon saw Spencer. He was cross. It's a nice day, isn't it? Oh, oh, I'm glad everyone likes me. But Spencer didn't know Gordon was still cross with him. About everything he did, Spencer never knew this, and Gordon never told him. You know, Jane was so nice to offer his shed to me. I mean, he's a nice engine, and I'm sure, sure one day, maybe you could do this, do the same thing one day, Gordon. Gordon had it with Spencer. That's it, Spencer. I had it with you. Spencer was shocked by Gordon's. Shouting at him, what, 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 what do you mean? He asked. Like, I had enough with you. You, you. First, first the chicken does move, move to, to the summer house. Then you went around Sodor, you're looking for somewhere to sleep. Then James offered you tip me shed for his birth. And then, when you sleep there, the worst of all, you liked it. And now we're everyone liking you, your you change way. Wait, this has made me angry. Spencer was shocked. Gordon, I'm so sorry. I didn't. Well, whatever, said Gordon. <sighs> we're good enough friends. The garbage whistle and Gordon puffed away in the grumpy mood of the express. Spencer felt a little hurt. Just then. Then Rebecca pulled up. Hello, Spencer, she said happily. Oh, uh, hey, Rebecca. Rebecca saw how Spencer looked sad. What's wrong? she asked. Spencer told everything what Gordon said before she arrived. Ah, that Gordon! He always moaned about when something's changed. He's always like that. I didn't notice that. That said, I wish he told him in the first place. Well, he probably didn't want to. I don't make things worse. But, however, it seems that um, he doesn't like you living in James' shed. There's got to be a reason why. Like, James offered me it. Everyone should be happy for James that he has fun. That's, I'm taking his place at the shed. <sighs> Maybe it's about time if you. So hear my story and Nia's story. Spencer was shocked. Gordon? Gordon didn't like when you and Nia first came to the railway? Mm. Well, not really. Mm. So this is how it happened. And Rebecca explained everything. When Nia first arrived to the eye, and a couple of days later, Gordon went crazy over it. And then Rebecca first arrived, Gordon didn't like her point express coach or taking Henry's place. Spencer was was surprised about these stories, but if he changed his mind, having like you two, why cannot be with me? I think it's because Spencer, so probably because that uh, you and Gordon know each other for a long time now. Maybe that's why. He doesn't have any problem with that, like I know, but we just don't leave him. Don't worry, I'm sure. He 
COVID deaths sometimes. Spencer felt much better. He hoped the same thing would happen to him with Gordon. Thank you so much. Let's for that, Rebecca, said Spencer. I just hope it will work one day. I sure will. It's always, it's always too fast for him. He says now he found changes. I can imagine that. Anyways, I better pick up a ghost train. See us. And also, thanks for your help. You're welcome, said Rebecca. Rebecca and Spencer liked each other, and and, and soon they became friends. Spencer puffed away to fetch his ghost train. Meanwhile, Gordon had stopped at Crowen Skate Station. When he arrived, he saw James. Gordon was not happy to see James. He was mad at James all because of Spencer moving into Sodor. Now, Gordon, said James. Hello, James, said Gordon. Possibly. So how was so how was Spencer doing in my shed? This made Gordon a bit cross. Not too bad, said Gordon. I I suppose he's loving it there. Ah, not like my place here at Province Gate with Ivor and Rachel. This is so lovely here. Gordon then then got mad at Jane. Oh. James, why do you have to offer Spencer of your shed? Jane was surprised. What are you on about? Oh, you know what I'm on about, James. James. That day haunted me. Yeah. Ever since that day, that day has always been stuck in my head. Yeah. You offer for Spencer of your shed, yeah. and thanks to you, he's living so long with us. Jane was surprised. Gordon, why did explain? Yeah. Oh, there's no need to explain, James. Oh no, I know what's going on. Huh? You just want Spencer to be in your shed so he can annoy me. But Gordon, he is trying to... I don't care if he changed. Yeah. This must be some, some trick he's up to. You're trying to make everyone turn, a, turn, turn him and like him. Okay, but, huh? but I know what I'm doing right. Right, you should be disgraced for yourself, James. Why did it have to be him? Why? He couldn't stay at Crowen's Gate for the night and go back to the mainland. Oh no, you just had to off on the sheds. He couldn't stay at Crowen's Gate, could he? <sighs> Gordon, Crowen's Gate, I don't care! Care of Crowen's Gate, Gate, go play a place to sleep at James, James? You just upset at me! He got boys whistle and Gordon puffed away crossly. After that, James started to feel hurtful for that. Oh, it's never it's going to be known about changes. Meanwhile, Gordon was, puff, was going fast down the line. He was still cross with James and Spencer. Oh, how could they do this to me? They're my best friends, I suppose. But that should be hilarious even more, at the same time weird. However, Gordon was not watching who was going. There was bumpy tracks on the tr on the line, but Gordon didn't see them. He was too busy talking to about James Spencer until, until he saw, Oh no, bumpy tracks! Brakes! The driver were put on the brakes. Brakes. And the guard got put on the coach's brakes as well. Gordon then pushed the coach's back and he pushed for all his strength. But it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt. But the couple between Gordon's tender broke off the line. Right after they turned, it was broken. And some of Gordon's wheel and the tenders wheel were bit beaten up when they crashed. The final driver looked everywhere. Uh, your wheel be beaten up, Gordon, and your and your coupling to your tenders broken. You don't even spell ones. Well, looks like you have to go to the steamer to get mended up. But what about my coaches? They looked at the coaches. The coach seems alright. The first coach was a bit derailed, but there's no damage to that. The patches are okay. 
Gordon was cross. He wished he did watch the line. Oh, great! Now what? Meanwhile, back in Nafford, Spencer was drop was just dropping off the trucks he was delivering to Nafford when Henry rushed by with a breakdown crane. Crane! Oh, the way! There's been an accident. Let's go, go, go! Said Junior Jerome. Spencer was surprised by this. Hmm, well, what's going on? I can tell what's going on. The fat controller arrived. It's all bad news, Spencer. The Gordon has come off the Waverly Express. And the patch may be hurt or something. We don't know. It's Henry's off with the breakdown cranes to go and help. So, Spencer, I need you to take the Express. Spencer was shocked by this. The Express? But I don't think it'll be good, this, sir. We don't have time for this, Spencer. The passengers are going to be late. Hey, you must, must, must pick up them at once. Spencer was afraid to see Gordon again, but he knew the passengers needed him. I'm on my way, sir. That's a good engine. The factor walked away. Spencer was quickly uncoupled from his trucks and he puffed off to the rescue. Soon, Spencer arrived at the accident. Oh my, he said. Gordon saw him. What? What are you doing here? I'm taking the express, he said. The express? Harry was coupled to the express coaches and he poured them out. Alright, Drew Drone, you can start work now. You got it. And Drew Drone got to work immediately. What? Uh, no one ever takes the express but me. Me. I'll be quiet, Gordon, said Henry. The fact that one Spencer takes the express. Orders are orders. The point switch and Henry coupled the coaches to Spencer. <laughs> okay, Spencer, you're ready to go. Thank you, Henry. Don't worry, Gordon. I'll get the express delivered on time. Better. Yeah, you won't, said Gordon crossly. Henry was uncoupled. And Spencer puffed away. Oh, the indignity, said Gordon. And Henry got back to work, but by helping Gordon. Spencer flied down, down the tracks. The passengers were very surprised by Spencer's speed. They enjoyed the express run until Gordon's hill. So they arrived up the hill. Spencer put the amount of speed he had in him up the hill. However, it was a bit windy on Gordon's hill today, and it was hard for him to, to get up there. He puffed and he puffed. But Spencer, who started to go back down the hill, bother, said, I'm slipping. Hey, you better not to get a breakaway, better put on the brakes, said his driver. All brakes were on. Spencer put a mount of effort going forward, but it was no good. He was about, about to slip off again until they heard the engine coupling up to them. Huh? Who is it? Who did that? I thought you might need some help. It was James at the back of the train. James, what are you doing here? said Spencer. Oh, you haven't heard, have you? Heard what? The fat controller had announced that that if F was busy, I'd, I would be a second back engine in case F was busy to do another job. So when was this announced? Oh, probably after the when we finished doing the rescue at the docks. Docks have announced that I'm going to be a back engine up Gordon's Hill in case F was busy. Spencer was surprised by this. Hmm, he was to do well at the docks by cleaning the mess. Well, helping the mess. James chuckled. Ah, uh, we were all good at it. Anyways, anyways, let's get this this train train back on time. James James started to push the train and Spencer started to go forward again. The two engines put all the amount of effort they had into them. And finally they managed to get over the hill. Soon they were over the hill and the pastors cheered. Hooray, they said. Spencer and James were pleased. It reminds me when Gordon helped me over the hill, 
a long time ago before you locked on Soto. It was a, it was a couple of years ago. Spencer was a part for this. Hmm. Speaking of Gohan, he was not very happy with our Pony Express. Sorry, I did that bad morning with him. Not good. Same here. I have, I had a bad day with him at Crowing Skate Station when he came to pick up some pastures that I delivered. <sighs> you do it, I'm not mad at you. Not offering the show's attempt. Of course not, Spencer. It does, but the problem is Gohan has a hard time, time doing the changes. For like a couple of days or Sometimes it's very easy to get over with. The problem is he doesn't understand that change is good. You're well, right. He doesn't understand that. He won't even listen to us. I think the fact control might talk some sense into him. But why am I going to get mad at us again? And never mind what Gordon does to us. The fact controller is our controller. And we must tell him what Gordon did to us. And and I know the fact that we put a stop to Gordon. He always does it to us, to all of his engines. Even me, if I was acting like that. Yeah, believe me, Spencer. I know you're. I know you've been on the road for a few couple of weeks now. But the fact knows what he has to do. If he has any problem with engines being mean to other engines, he will go to them and sort it out. Spencer, Spencer was happy. Oh, thank you, James. I'm sure something will be done about that. Believe me, the fact you know what to do. He will stop falling out when we tell him. Well, if we're gonna tell him, we must get this train back on track. If we did three minutes ago, and now we must make up the lost time. And the two engines just raced away. Soon the train arrived, and all the passengers cheered and told the front controller. So how Spence was good at getting up the hill on his own and James helping them. He even talked about how well they like Spencer going at high speed. James popped up beside Spencer. The fire control was so pleased with two engines. Well done, Spencer and James. You managed to get the express train train to Napa. I am very proud of the both of you. Sir, said Spencer, there is one thing we don't want to tell you. What's that? The fact controller. Spencer and James told everything what Gordon was doing to them. They pretend about how Gordon was rude to them today. The fact controller was so angry. We thank you for for bringing me up to this. I will put a stop to Gordon at once. Once. He hopped in Spencer's cab. Where are we going, sir? James, Spencer, take me to the steamworks. I got a good talk with Gordon about this. This. I want to put a stop to Gordon's attitude at once. Once. Yes, sir, they said, and he puffed at the steamworks. Meanwhile, Gordon was at the steamworks. He was still cross how expensive got the Pony Express. It's not Bell. Why is it him? Thus then, then James puffed in and Spencer. This made Gordon cross. What are you two ones? Spencer and James didn't, didn't like the way Gordon was talking. If you say anything, get out of here, the both of you. Do you mean tree, Gordon? The fat control step out of Spencer's cap. Gordon knew, knew he was in trouble. Oh no. Oh no, it's right, Gordon, the big engine. I have heard, heard everything what Spencer and James told me. But, and I heard what you'll be doing ever since Spencer arrived on this island. I'm very angry with you. Sir, please, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't count it, Gordon. Now tell me, why did it have to, why do you keep doing this on a bio engine and the other technicians, eh? First was Neil, then Rebecca, and now Spencer. Gordon, you know he needs to explain. I'm sorry, sir. I just hate new changes. Like a man, like, like simple, if I hate when somebody took my express away and, and give it to someone else. I only hated that. Indeed, you will. Well, but Gordon, you must understand that that uh, that change is good. 
I know a lot of people may not like changes, and changes can be hard. But change is a good thing. It's a good thing to try try something new, and that's what you did with Neil and Rebecca. And now you must do it with Spencer. Gordon knew the fact control was right. He knew that the fact control was correct about changes. He knew change was a good thing. So I'm so sorry what I've been doing about changes ever since Neil first arrived. Uh, I just probably don't like how they replaced Owen and Henry and now Merlin in James's place. Thank you, Gordon. You must understand that Henry, Edward, and James are needed at their locations. Yes, sir, said Gordon. And James, I'm sorry why I did Clovin's gate. That's alright, Gordon. I'm sorry that I told Spencer to stay at the sheds. And Spencer, I am so sorry I have been rude to you ever since you first came here. And I'm even sorry about the past as well since you first arrived on Soda when you were now caught. When I walked on the hill, and I'm sorry that I upset you to me and James by living in the sheds, even on Sodor. And I'm even sorry what I did in the past. And at first, when I also first arrived on Sodor, even visiting. You know, Spencer, we're both fast engines. It doesn't matter who is fastest, in both of us. Of course, we may have races, all that stuff. But I was thinking. Do you want to start a friendship between us? Spencer was shocked by this. He put on a happy smile. It would be an honor to be a friend, friend with with Soldor's fastest engine pulling the express. Gordon was happy. The, the fact control and James were pleased that Gordon and Spencer are now finally going to get along. Spencer shall take the express until you come back, Gordon. Isn't it going happy? Yes, sir. Please let Spencer pull the express until I come back. Back, back. He can pull as long as he wants. Even what you want him. <laughs> oh, Gordon, says Spencer. I, I got other jobs as well, even a private engine. So we still used to pull the express. Gordon chuckled. Oh, I get. Now on the island, so though. Gordon and Spencer matched our friendship between each other. The two of them never argued who was the fastest engine, or even how fast they go, or even had the best job. All they did was becoming friends. Gordon and Spencer felt sorry what they did to each other back in the past. But from that day on, Spencer and Gordon became fur friends. They sometimes raced to have a bit of fun, but in the end, the two friends, friends always stay as friends together and worked as a team on the Fat Controller's Railway.